Welcome to the show. So there's been a little bit of a problem with uh, some of Daniel's recording. So slight change of plan today, but never mind. We still have a video for you. Uh, I am here on Horizon, and I'm going to try and speed run a very pink Ultimate Aero SSC. Um, why it's pink, I don't really know. I just saw it and thought, hell yeah, might as well give it a go. Um, anyway, this is the 1,200 horsepower monster that beat the Veyron's top speed record. We drove. We had a race with them uh, a few weeks back, and we're going to now see how fast it will go in a straight line. We haven't done one of these for a while, so I thought it'd be quite interesting because this is pretty much as mental as the uh, Hennessy Venom that we ran a while ago. Now, the first thing to sort of take into account, if you were going to do the speed run heading in this direction, you can do it both directions on the bit of motorway. If you get a little bit of wheel spin and get a bit wrong, do not go down this slip road, whatever you do. See, this is here, me on my first run, and that is a humongous jump. Um, I'm not quite sure why it does that down there in particular. I think this is sort of the way the... The AI just don't care that there's a flying air, ultimate error. I think it's just the way that the uh, the road is. You kind of end up taking a massive jump at like 200 miles an hour, which wasn't the cleverest thing I've ever done. Now, this thing it kind of reminds me quite a lot of the uh, the Venom. It's the same sort of mentalness. It also does not like the bumps. I didn't even know there was a bump there. We're going to go backwards 80 miles an hour and just miss the AI car. That was very close. <laughs> uh, yeah, the, it does not like the bumps. It will find any bump in the road that I didn't even know some of these existed. Here we go again. We are now, this is like the very start of my, my normal run. We're coming on to up, up the slip road, onto the, oh, what do you call it in America? I don't know. It's a slip road for us. And <laughs> yeah, there's, there's bumps down there that you don't notice in most cars, but you will in this. And it kind of threw me into the wall there. And again, where are we through here? We're coming down off like the, the slip roady bit. Again, there's another bump there that I didn't realize that pulled me into the, the wrong side of the carriageway. That's not a good idea. Luckily, there were no cars coming and there wasn't a huge crash. Um, now here, I'm actually on a very clean run, it was all going to work very well, there's a bus, there's a car swerve, and then it's going to kind of get a bit twitchy, and that's the sound of, well, death. <laughs> that was a very big crash, right there, and uh, we're having a look, I'm going to look to see what it is, and look, it's a Prius! It was a Prius that tried to kill me, you stupid Prius, I shall have to find a way of getting my own back on that blooming thing. <laughs> but yeah, that, that's a incredibly big crash through there. Of course, I was I was persistent, and I'm kind of getting a bit better at speedruns. This didn't take particularly long to get to. There's a, there's a few little uh, <laughs> mistakes as you see, but uh, this didn't take particularly long to get to uh, up the uh, the slip road. There didn't have too many problems that time. It's still it's very very tricky. This car has an awful lot of power that it's very eager to put down onto the road, and it's very very easy to just hit a bump wrong, and you're going to spin it. Now through here, I would suggest you go up, not off this slip road. Yeah, I get very close to an AI car as well there. Because uh, this slip road is very bumpy if you try this with the arrow, but I didn't have any choice because there were two silly eco boxes in the way, so I couldn't take the uh, the normal route. But it didn't matter in this run; I managed to get a bit lucky. And we're coming down here; we're getting towards its its top speed now. There's some more Nissan Leaf there. I think it's going to hit 268. There we go, which is the exact same speed as the Hennessy Venom did. I'm driving on the uh, hard shoulder there a little bit. Uh, somehow I got away with all of that dodging that traffic. But yeah, we're going to hit 268 miles an hour, which is very very fast, and it is about the in fact it is the exact same as the Hennessy Venom. I would say this car is maybe a little bit easier to drive than the Venom, but there's really not much in it. It's very, very, very close. Um, this car doesn't like bumps, and neither did the Venom, but I think this one here is a little bit easier to weave in and out of traffic with, which has surprised me a little bit. And then we're going to go and sit here and do some celebratory donuts, which this car is terrible at. But yeah, there we go. The, the, the Ultimate Aero, that's the car I was driving, yes, did 268 miles an hour, which is very, very fast, and dodged some traffic, and that, whoops, sorry, jeeps. Um, yeah, don't mind. What? <laughs> the AI is on the wrong side of the road. What are you doing? Why are you over there? Please, come on. Traffic, have a crash. No. Oh, it's all behaving itself. Damn it, I was hoping they were going to have a crash. Oh, well. I didn't know the AI would drive on the wrong side of the road to avoid you. Well, we've learned something new today. The arrow is very fast, which you already knew, but the AI is useless and drives on the wrong side of the road if it's obstruction. Someone's got a speeding ticket. I don't even know what that was. But there we go. That's it for this video, guys. So thank you very much for watching. If you have challenges as ever, leave them in the comment section. But until next time, goodbye.